Hello. Come with me as we explore the rise of the earliest Islamic empires, beginning with the Rashidun Caliphate, moving through the Umayyad and Abbasid, and ending with the Ottoman Turks, whose empire lasts until the end of World War I. These empires, spanning nearly a thousand years of history, served as a bridge between Europe and Eastern Asia, over which traversed ideas, religion, and technology. Now let's begin after the death of the Prophet Muhammad. The Rashidun Caliphate, which began after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, extended rapidly within 24 years of its establishment. It conquered vast territories, including Mesopotamia, the Levant, Anatolia, and most of the Sasanian Empire. The Byzantines lost key regions like Syria and Egypt to the Rashidun. But the internal conflicts among Muslims slowed the conquest. The Sasanian Empire was swiftly invaded with successful battles led by generals like Kibn, Khalid ibn al-Walid. Sorry, these are hard to pronounce. Now, after capturing Iraq, Khalid defeated Persian armies in a multiple engagements, eventually leading to the fall of the Persian capital. The Rashidun forces continued eastward, securing their hold over Mesopotamia and beyond. In the west, the Rashidun Caliphate expanded into Egypt, where they found support among the local population due to grievances with Byzantine rule. While some areas, like Nubia, initially resisted Muslim rule, they eventually reached a peaceful end. The assassination of Ali ended the period of Rashidun rule also known as the time of the rightly guided caliphs. The Umayyad, members of a prominent merchant clans from Mecca, helped to stabilize the Islamic community. Possibly because they were merchants, the, the Umayyads moved their capital from Mecca on the Arabian Peninsula to Damascus, a thriving commercial city in Syria near the coast of the Mediterranean. Damascus's central location enabled them to maintain better communication throughout the empire. The Umayyad Caliphate tightly controlled their authority and their empire, and they tended to favor Arabs over other converts to Islam. This contributed to a high morale among the Arabs, but caused the Muslim conquerors to feel discontent among the scores of the different ethnic groups in the empire. The Umayyad Caliphate began to decline in the mid-8th century. The conflict between the Umayyads and the followers of Ali, whose assassination marked the beginning of the Caliphate, continued throughout its rule. By the mid-8th century, other non-Arab Muslims were also upset by the preferences the Umayyads gave to their fellow Arabs. This discontent eventually led to a full-on revolt among non-Arab Muslims. Most of the members of the ruling family were killed during those revolts. However, some escaped and established a dynasty in Cordoba, Spain. The overthrow of the Umayyad Caliphate ended Arab exclusivity in the Islamic Empire. It transitioned into a multi-ethnic state with a more eastward focus and a capital in the newly built city of Baghdad. In the early years, the Abbasid Caliphate expanded incorporating territories in Central Asia, North Africa, and even the Indian subcontinent. With its capital in Baghdad, the other seeds were able to take advantage of the cultural exchanges and economic and cultural impact between the Silk Roads to the east and the Trans-Saharan crossings in Northern Africa. The Abbasid era is often called the Golden Age of Islam. With palaces such as the House of Wisdom, scholars from Eastern cultures and Western cultures advanced knowledge of philosophy, mathematics, science, medicine, etc. The challenge of governing an empire that stretched from the Atlantic Ocean to the Himalayas caused the downfall of the Abbasid Caliphate. Regional and provincial governors gained more authority in establishing their own semi-independent states. Still, it also faced pressures from the Byzantine empires and the crusading, crusaders and Turks from Europe and Asia Minor. The Abbasid Empire ended in 1258 
when the Mongols, led by Hulagu Khan, captured Baghdad and devastated the city. Meanwhile, in Asia Minor, a Turkish tribal group led by Osman I began to conquer and extend their control over empires of other Turkish peoples and renegades uh, from the Byzantine Empire. As they became known in the English-speaking world, these Ottomans spread out from Asia Minor and expanded into the Balkan Peninsula and Eastern Europe. In 1453, the armies of the Ottoman Empire conquered the city of Constantinople with the use of offensive artillery. They had heroic naval maneuvers, hauling ships over the Bosporus to get around Byzantine defenses. The walls of Constantinople had stood for more than 800 years, but were no match for the massive cannons deployed by the Ottomans. Constantinople, later renamed Istanbul, became the capital of the Ottoman Empire, and it was the center of interactions between the Middle East and Europe for the next six centuries. Life in the Ottoman Empire and conflict between the Ottomans and various European powers played a crucial role in the history of Europe in late medieval and Renaissance and even into the modern era. The Ottoman Empire eventually fell following World War I in 1922.